Well, for a lot of kids, the best summer memories are vacations and beach days. But for a boy in Brewster who's been cooking since he was just five, it's crafting dishes for his pop-up restaurant. Now, his weekly customers eat it up, and they're not the only ones who benefit. Tonight, meet fourth-grade philanthropist Adrian Umer, our youngest changemaker to date. All right. So those will go in there for three minutes. He's nine years old, navigating the kitchen like a seasoned pro. I'm glazing it a second time so um, the glaze gets in the rice, so it has a lot more flavor. His Sukuni meatballs are a bestseller. Doing the squeal, I'll test kits in like thousands or hundreds of things. You will test thousands of things yeah. in the school year? Yeah. Before the summer? Yes. That's when he opens up his pop-up restaurant, Loco Dos posting the weekly menu, typically with four items online for weekend pickup or delivery. I've definitely sold out of multiple things. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really proud. Especially because Adrian Umer is also nourishing people who will never taste his cooking. It just bothered me that people didn't have homes. I wanted to do something to raise money. His parents, Melissa and Imran, say he got the idea to fundraise with his cooking after learning about homelessness in second grade. He was asking me all these questions about it and what can we do to help? Can we build a home? Can we build houses all up and down Cape Cod? Why do you think it affected you so much? I don't know, it just made me really sad. Sunny's our intake coordinator. She is the first point of contact. When the Umers discovered the Homeless Prevention Council just miles away, Adrian's passion found its purpose. We love him. He's just a super kid. He's helping ultimately, helping HPC to serve, you know, the more than 2,000 people that we work with every year, many of whom are kids. Kids who rely on this backpack and school supplies drive. HPC provides roughly 400 backpacks a year. Last fall, after his first summer in business, Adrian donated more than $500 in cash profits. I think that became addictive to him because he could see that now if he wanted to make an impact, this was a very direct way. He cooks in the kitchen for a few hours, translates to money, translates to impact in the community. How do you feel now that you're doing something about it? I feel really good. It really feels good to create more hope in this world. All right, box one, complete. Each item costs $10. Easy math to address a tough problem. What you got for me today? You got a little goodie? School principal and regular customer Keith Golly is grateful and impressed. Thank you so much. You bet. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Good luck in school this year. Thank you. I think Adrian is one of those quiet leaders. He is always kind. He is always generous. Um, and I believe that this is his way to really show those leadership qualities. While educating customers one order at a time about housing insecurity on Cape Cod. People say, well, what is that? You know, why do you choose to give your money there? Tell me more about what they're doing. So that's been really exciting and inspiring to see. And it never hurts that he is testing hundreds, if not thousands, of <laughs> recipes in your kitchen. We eat really well. <laughs> we eat really well. Much to the chagrin of their poodle, Sebastian, waiting patiently on cleanup duty, this was Adrian's last pop-up this summer. Done. Yes. But if you're salivating right now, don't worry. This committed chef is just getting started. Will you do this again next summer? A hundred percent. I do it every summer. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going to be dropping off all the money that he raised next week beyond this restaurant now. He says his goal is to own a brick and mortar restaurant someday at which he will continue to share profits with people in need. I love stories like this because you can see our future leaders, the yes. people who are going to do great things in our community. <laughs> the restaurant, Loco Dos. Yes. What is that? His favorite restaurant is Loco in the South End okay. in Boston, and they actually invited him into the kitchen there to make nachos for his parents once, so the name is a nod to that restaurant and the kindness they showed him. Ah, oh, awesome. All right. And we got that story idea. We learned about Adrian from a teacher. If you have a change maker we should know about, send us an email. It's changemakers at WBZ.com. We are always looking for people of all ages who are making a difference in their community and solving problems. We'll be back right after this.